Welcome back, everyone, to Timothy Almond Jr.'s Mile Asylum. Yes. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Please like and share. Um, and if I'm lucky, I hope that I earn your subscription. But if not, totally cool. Um, today, I am doing... Uh, a new unique type of tea two flavors same product um but before i get in, into that i'd like to introduce to you guys my new hardback of the last rhinoceros rider now um it's this hardback's 500 pages. Um, I just got it released on Amazon. Uh, I think I, it's $24.99, I believe. Um, so, you guys can go there and get yourselves a copy. Um, you can download it um, to Kindle if you prefer digital. Um, and follow me on there and keep watch and because I do a lot of uh, free promotions and so I'll give my books out for free um, for a week at a time um, when they allow me to um, but you can pick this up in paperback as well um, so I'm super excited and stoked that I got myself a my badass hardback um, so be sure to pick that up. I'm working on a new book right now, right there. That's the, uh, going to be the cover art. It's in charcoal. As you can see, I just started it. Um, but that's called, uh, Adderin and it's about a druid. Um, I'm not going to get too much else into it, so, uh, be sure to be on the lookout for that. <clears throat> but I have a whole bunch of other fucking books. Um, they're all right there. I got a total of... Uh, Fifteen... Fifteen different books. Um, out right now. But... I am also doing short stories on Kindle Vela. I just released the first three, uh, they call them episodes, chapters. Um, so go check that out and let me know what you think. It's called Valley of Ravens. And that one's about uh, a father and a son uh, go on a treasure seeking hike into the Valley of Ravens. And I don't want to disclose too much uh, information about that one either. But you will enjoy it. It's a horror, um, mystery, thriller, adventure, semi. Um, but anyways, yeah. So go to Kindle Vela and uh, follow me there. And I, Ken Novella is weird, so you read the first three chapters, and if you want to further get more chapters, you gotta pay, I guess, to get the, the rest of it. Um, I'm going to shoot for a 10 episode uh, sto story, so yeah, go check me out there. Uh, review. So we're doing today whoosh, Lover Boy. Sparkling hard tea. So I got white tea peach and I got hibiscus lime. Uh, I found these at the local Fred Meyer here in Albany, Oregon. And each one of these six packs, I think there's six. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. six slims. Um, 
we're fucking 14 bucks a piece. 13.99 plus 60 cents. So, 14.59. Yeah. I know. Stupid dumb. Who sends out much on alcohol? This guy. So, um, let's get into it. I apologize for wasting your time about my books. But, if you are interested, I'm glad that I could help you out. <clears throat> but, if you are interested in any of my books, just type in Timothy Allen, A-L-A-N, Milam Jr. in Amazon and it'll pop it up. I'm also all over across other platforms and all kinds of other shit. You can find my books pretty much fucking everywhere. <clears throat> so, yeah, find me. Anyways, uh, Lover Boy. Zero sugar, 90 calories, naturally sweetened. Kissed with lavender. That's what this white tea peach is. Good times, no regrets. Gluten-free, nothing artificial, made with organic tea. Party on, Wayne. Four point two percent alcohol by volume. All right, please drink responsibly. Crafted by Loverboy Inc. New York. Uh, you can send him a text at uh, this number here. Um. It doesn't say what you do after you send them a text. It just says, send us a text. So, they offer nothing at all. So, in here is lemon juice, concentrate, monk fruit juice, concentrate. I don't know what monk fruit is. Natural flavors, citric acid, lavender extract. So when they say natural flavors, what the fuck does that mean? Like, natural flavors of what? Of lavender? No, a lavender extract. They stated on here. So what the fuck is their natural flavors? Can't be very natural, can it? Alright. Um, so, let's just get to it. You guys, Rockstar brought back their throwback. So it's original recipe, the OG flavor. Fucking throwback edition. Um, delicious. 10 out of 10. Great product. Um, can't say enough about these. Um. I was super stoked because you guys remember when they brought the when you went to go pick up a rock star and then you cracked it open and it wasn't rock star but it says original so your mind was like is this a mandela effect did i travel to a different fucking um universe am i in different what multiverse am i in which what's going on no they just changed the recipe so calm down there was no mandela effect but, um, super excited that they brought it back. G fucking amazing. Anyways, let's get into it. White peach tea. 4.2% alcohol by volume. Let's get crack a lock. Ooh, that smells delicious. Does not smell like lavender. Almost smells like a tea with honey. That's all I'm smelling. That's not good. Not good at all. That was a waste of $14. But, just for you guys, I spend my money so what 
You don't have to. That's correct. Proud of you guys. Proud. Hibiscus lime. All right, let's fucking do it. This one says, uh, kissed with pomegranate. All right. So. I don't know what they were catering to. Like, women? Because these are very feminine packaging. The can's very... Not to say that men can't like this stuff. I'm just saying it's very female-ish. <clears throat> this one smells like a cider. Just like an apple cider. What? What? Come here. Come on. If you want love, you gotta come up here. No? Well, I'm not chasing you. So it does taste like a cider as well, but not a good one. All right, lover boy. Um, they spent all this this money on creating um, impulse by eye catcher, trying to attract a certain demographic of uh, individuals. Um. And they spent time developing this these recipes, but yet failed to deliver what they were trying to accomplish. Um, their tea is shit. It's, it's not something that I will ever buy again, nor should any of you guys ever buy it. It's disgusting, uh, to say the least. So at... Um, $13.99 for a sixer, save your money and spend it wisely elsewhere. Go to the fucking store and grab a bunch of individual, um, individual, uh, why can I even think, oh, I just got a 12-hour shift. Get out and go buy yourself fucking the hard teas. Um, Jesus Christ. Why am I having such a hard time remembering shit? But anyways, go out and buy yourself the individual cans. Uh, save yourself a shit ton of money. Uh, this product sucks. It's... I'm only going to give it a 2 out of 10. But that's your review. I'm Timothy Almond Jr. Please uh, check out my new hardback and my other books. But until next time... Fuck off.